actually saw it from fourth floor of headquarters. Very exciting to see. Basically, meeting came to a halt as everybody st stared out the window and was super excited about what we're doing. The NASA SIO demonstration with the autonomous pod transport was pretty exciting. This activity is a collaboration between NASA and industry to try to make advancements toward commercial unmanned aircraft operations in the national airspace system. NASA SIO is system integration and operationalization. So SIO is a two-year project. NASA has provided us support and guidance. We really wanted to showcase how unmanned aircraft can play a role in the future of the world and have a positive impact. Left 20. Bell is one of three companies selected to fly missions for NASA SIO. Part of our project flying the autonomous pod transport in and out of controlled airspace. Other companies had missions that were different, but Bell's was kind of described as one of the most complex in that it's flying in an urban airspace, in and out of controlled airspace, had to contend with cooperative and uncooperative aircraft, and is integrating multiple C2 solutions as well as airborne detect and avoid. We left that training field, flew a pattern around the local area, which isn't that far from uh, DFW International Airport, and, uh, and returned back in fully autonomous flight. It's a culmination of a lot of work from the entire team, as well as the FAA and NASA. And it was even compounded by the fact that our leadership team could see the aircraft flying from their offices at our headquarters. So we had to deal with deconfliction between uh, the experiment that we were doing and the training activities that were going on. So very real world in terms of the communication between unmanned and manned aircraft in the airspace. The actual uh, technology of flying the vehicle is fairly well established. You know, on the military side, that's been done for some time. The challenge that we're trying to overcome here and demonstrate capability on is being able to navigate in controlled airspace with the civilian environment and the level of safety required to do that. NASA's helping create environments where industry can learn and help inform the FAA where the roles need to be made. So actually the NASA role is critical. NASA is viewed as a, an unbiased data provider to the FAA and other regulators to be able to provide the information required on what should the requirements be, both for the aircraft, for the airspace, and for the integration of those systems. So the next steps will be to examine what we learned from this project and outline a plan to get to a fleeted vehicle. The timeline for the integration of these unmanned aircraft operations will ultimately be driven by demand. The establishment of regulations needed for their operation and technology development. Bell's been innovating for over 80 years, and this is just the next step where you really get away from kind of vehicle level technology to integrated systems.